30 seconds to answer one guy's question. The 30 second take podcast starts now. All right, where are we here? Okay, so we are at NC Ties 17. We've had a great conversation about school culture. And I think the big thing where we're landing right now is we've talked early. We started this session by talking about we want our schools to be places that just breathe kids and what's best for kids and their voices and their passions and their talents and their needs. And we can do that when we up the ownership. And there are lots of different things that happen at school. Some are powerful traditions. Others are, um, you know, staff ideas and they're beautiful. But what can we do to add ownership to that day? So... Um, I'm going to ask these beautiful minds and courageous leaders just to share a little bit. Who wants, uh, let me rephrase that. Who's willing <laughs> just to share a sentence or two? Woohoo! Can we do like a pre applause? All right. You want to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Brooke Pressler from Pinebrook Elementary School in Davie County, North Carolina. All right. How would you up the ownership? I would love to make the building more student-centered. What we have is very nice and very meaningful for the adults who work there, but the building does not reflect students and what they're all about. So I would love to change the look and feel of the building. Very cool. Thank you so much for being brave. Let's give her a round of applause. Let's go. Thank you. John Lasseter, Joe on Middle School in Tyner, North Carolina. We do clubs every Friday, and I'd like to switch from more of a, if you don't get your work done, you're assigned to a penalty box, to more of an office hours concept of, if I didn't get my work done, I choose to go get the extra support I need to be more successful at school. Mm. Sweet. Thanks, man. Okay. I'm Cindy Bliss, principal of Castle Hayne Elementary in Wilmington, North Carolina, and I would like to have more student ownership in our parent nights. We tend to focus on parents on those nights, and I'd rather bring the kids in and teaching the parents versus the teachers teaching the parents. Very cool. I think, so just in closing, um, you know, we don't have all the answers, but when we have the right dreams, like for our kids, when we want to prioritize their aspirations and make school as much about them and their learning as possible, we reduce our role, really beautiful things can happen. I think that's part of this conversation. <laughs> Join the conversation at hashtag 30 second take.